In this, the lab techniques lab, you'll be reacting sodium sulfate, which you will dissolve in water to make an aqueous solution, with barium nitrate, which has already been dissolved in water, to form barium sulfate, which is not soluble in water and therefore will come out as a precipitate, and sodium nitrate solution. These are the steps you're going to do to carry out this procedure. First, obtain goggles. Then, place one quarter of a spoonful of sodium sulfate into a weigh boat. Close it, Tyler. Close it. And then close the container. Bring the chemical back to your lab station and place it into the test tube by pinching to form a little funnel. Place the test tube back in the rack and wash out your weigh boat. Next, measure out five milliliters of distilled water into a graduated cylinder. Next, add the water to the salt in the test tube. Now, while well, one of you is heating that up, the other one of you will be measuring out the next chemical. Keep track of where you are in your procedure. Okie dokie. Okay. So much less. All right. Next, heat the chemical in the test tube a little higher in the Bunsen burner flame. A little higher, a little higher, a little higher. Good. <laughs> you may feel the chemical kick as it breaks up into the water. Once the salt is all dissolved, place it into the test tube rack. Uncap the barium nitrate solution and very carefully measure out 10 milliliters of barium nitrate into a graduated cylinder. Add 10 milliliters of barium nitrate solution to your sodium sulfate solution. and record the results of the reaction. Pour half of your solution into the filter paper and let it filter. The barium sulfate precipitate will be left behind on the filter paper as the sodium nitrate solution comes down into the evaporating dish. Make sure the stem of the funnel is touching the side of the evaporating dish so that the liquid can dribble down in instead of dropping down in. You can then dispose of the rest of the stuff in your test tube and give it a good washing with scrubby brushes. After the filtering process is done, the filter paper can then be removed and thrown in the red disposal can. Place the evaporating dish on a ring stand's wire gauze and place a watch glass on top of it, dippy side down to keep it secure. Light the Bunsen burner and place the Bunsen burner underneath the dish to heat. This will evaporate away the water and leave behind the sodium nitrate which was once dissolved. Notice how the burner is lit, yet there is nothing to heat it up on. If you place the burner under and then try to place the thing on it, you will burn your hand very badly. So the suggestion would be, don't turn the burner off, the suggestion would be simply place your dish with the watch glass on top of it, on top of the wire gauze, and then move the Bunsen burner into position. This way you can avoid flash frying your hands. As you're finished with each step, you can clean up each piece of glassware and place it back at the edge of the lab station out of the way. Cleaning up as you go means you don't have to clean up when you're done. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Condensation. And what's left in the dish is solid sodium nitrate. The water is removed, the solvent is gone, all that remains is the solute. And when it cools off to the back of the hand, this can be cleaned out with a scrubby brush and returned to the side.